on overdrive this week, but off to Goa for lunch in the Audi A8 W12. And we check out the new Rolls Royce Phantom Coupe. Hello and welcome to Overdrive, I'm Shireen Bhan. Now there was a time when you could have either performance or luxury in a car. But all of that has changed with cars like the BMW 7 Series where you get the luxury of a limousine along with the performance and driving pleasure of a sports car. So Bert decided to get behind the wheels of the Audi A8 W12 and take a long drive. Let's take a look. While we've done some strange things, this is by far the strangest yet. It's 5 in the morning, but I'm headed out for lunch. Yes, sounds funny, isn't it? But that's because I'm headed out to Goa, which is roughly around 600 kilometers from here. Because I want to have some authentic Goan chori spa, which is Goan sausages. And since I've got about 600 kilometers to do, I've decided to do it in a very fast car. That's the Audi A8 W12. Because I haven't told my wife where I'm headed for lunch, and I've got to get back home before dinner time. to go up before but it's a frightfully expensive drive and that's because you spend anywhere between 500 to 700 rupees purely on toll discount food fuel and of course there's occasional stops for tea but if you're driving the aaw12 it's certainly not going to bust your bank Under the hood is an engine that could belong to none other than the Volkswagen family. It's not a V6 or a V8, no, it's a W12. That's basically taking two V6 engines, mating them together to form a W. And that kind of a configuration makes around 450 horsepower from a 6-litre engine. It's compact yet powerful and aggressive. This car does not have this loud and insane animated growl. It doesn't scream at the top of its lungs when the throttle is stepped on. No, it's got a very, very authoritative tone. Very subdued, classy. Leaving early in the morning does have its benefits. You avoid traffic, and of course the roads are clean and empty, so you can make up some time. But then again, if you have a car that makes 450 bhp, does a 0 to 106 seconds and 0 to 200 under 15 seconds and of course has a top speed well in excess of 250 kilometers an hour, who cares what time you woke up in the morning? Just step on the gas and let fly. At 250 kilometers an hour, the world seems to be spinning so slowly. As a big surprise, the W turn is not restricted to 250 kilometers per hour. You can whack this speedometer to 260. We're now going fast and doing 217. With such a large engine and so much of power, it's very comfortable for this car to cruise at speeds at around 140 or 160 kilometers an hour. It's a very effortless exercise getting to those kind of speeds. In fact, the A8 is most efficient when she's travelling at speeds of around 100 to 120 kilometers per hour. On a long drive like this, you want a car that's comfortable. You don't want to land up for lunch looking all haggard, feeling tired, with little appetite. Not especially once you know the menu has got some of the choicest dishes available anywhere in India. Goan cuisine is known for its spicy meatballs, its vindaloos, its curries, of course, the prawns and the, the lobster. Oh man, I can't wait to get there. So this is absolutely the right car to get you there. It not only gets you there fast, it gets you there in the right frame of mind. This is a 
going to be the most common element in this drive. You're going to see a stop for several fuel stops. Of course, with the fuel efficiency of about 3 to 4 kilometers per litre on our drive. This is a very thirsty car. I just hope my producer is getting enough cash for this drive. The A8's air suspension and several of the lightweight components in the suspension system give it fantastic ride quality. Despite the fact that you're driving on a badly scarred surface and on very low profile tyres, you just cannot feel a thing inside this cabin. The very same air suspension also provides a variety of dynamic profiles which can be adjusted manually. So you can set the ride to comfort or you can adjust it to dynamic which just sharpens this car's handling abilities. I mean, a car this big, it's hard to believe that this car can handle so well. It feels so stable, so supple and yet so, so precise. Of course, it's all down to Audi aluminium space frame chassis and the all-wheel drive Quattro system. So we finally made it here to Goa. We are at Baga, at the Lucky Star restaurant. We just had a scrumptious meal, some nice grilled prawns, beef chili fry, chorizo, which is what we intended to have in the morning. Now it's taken us six and a half hours to get here to lunch. And it's going to take us another six and a half hours to get back to Bombay for dinner. So what do you do if you get bored in a car like this? Not that you ever would, but even if you did, what I would suggest is you turn off the music and let the dozen odd bang and Olufsen speakers surround you with some incredible tune. We've made it back to Bombay in record time. It's taken me about seven hours to get here. A half an hour more than what I expected and that's because I had to stop to change a puncture. But otherwise, this has been a record-breaking drive and it would not have been possible without a fast and luxurious car like the Audi A8. But now i got to go back and get home before my wife starts queuing my brain for dinner. See you later. <laughs>